Record highs today. We broke records yesterday. By the end of this week, we're looking at temperatures dropping by 20 degrees. And uh, that's going to be because the storm system is coming through. You know, we've, it's beautiful out there now and gorgeous shot over the city here. Uh, you can see the Tower Bridge right there and some of the higher clouds in place. But what a nice start to the week. Plenty of sunshine. All changing, though, as we get toward Wednesday. Here's the storm system. The, at least the overview that's taking place is an atmospheric river setup. We will see a lot of rainfall coming in across northern California and very heavy snow snow for the highest elevations in the Sierras. You have the rain component, you have the winter component. We have thunderstorms potentially for Thursday. We'll have to watch for that. And by Wednesday, a period of some strong winds, even in the valley out of the southeast, that could result in some power outages and we'll begin to monitor that potential as we get closer. So the storm system is right here, tapping into plenty of moisture coming in from the south, and that's what's going to help result in widespread rainfall. We still have one more dry day and a mild day. That's tomorrow. Plenty of clouds with some sunshine mixed in between. Temperatures will be upper 60s near 70. So a fantastic day tomorrow. Get that jog in. Anything outside really tomorrow before the weather starts to uh, go downhill for the rest of the week. Beyond that, by Wednesday, I think Wednesday starts off dry across our region, but by Wednesday afternoon to Wednesday evening, the rain starts moving through and it starts to pick up in intensity very quickly. So by Wednesday night, we'll see some very heavy rainfall coming in across the valley. You get these bands coming in across uh, the valley by Wednesday evening with some heavier rainfall. And at the same time, we are having a uh, southeast wind with strong wind gusts. And those heavier bands could bring some of that wind down to the surface and we could see gusts approaching 50 50, 55 miles per hour Wednesday evening. Snow level starting off near 6,000 feet on Wednesday, dropping down about 4,000 feet on Thursday, and then even lower by Friday as weather gets cooler, down to 3,500 feet. So uh, when we break it down a bit further with those winds, I'll show you by Wednesday evening, you can see the wind starting to pick up here across part of the Sacramento Valley. Sacramento itself could see gusts above 50 miles per hour. So we have the chance to see some down tree limbs with the stronger wind gusts there by Wednesday. Thursday, those winds start to diminish pretty quickly. Those will be out of the southeast. But a lot of water headed our way by Friday, several inches coming in for the foothills, a couple of inches across the Sacramento Valley. A lot of this draining into the rivers. We will see sharp rises in our local rivers and streams. Flood watches do go into effect Wednesday, Thursday into Friday due to the rainfall. When it comes to snowfall, uh, again, above 6,000 feet where it stays mainly snow will do quite well. Uh, some of the lower elevations for the north won't see as much, but you get toward the passes like Donner Summit, at least one or two feet. Some of the higher peaks will be closer to about three feet of snowfall by the end of the system, which will see the effects of that through Friday. And then yet another storm, Sunday and Monday, that will be another impactful storm with more rain, more wind, more snow. Guys.